Well, hello. Hello there. Oh, God, there. It's all crazy loud again. Hey, am I all good? Uh, What's up, people? Happy holiday Monday to all of y'all. Um, it's been kind of rainy here today. I didn't go fly. Nate and some of our usual flying people were crazy enough to go fly. <coughs> And we've got a little bit of a treat. Don't give it away yet, Nate. But uh, we've got one of his new birds there. His, uh, Pick up the damn chair, kid. It's noisy. We're about to wreck some shit. Um, but yeah, he's got his little... Uh, he's at his, in his grandma's garage. He's got his little plane there to fly. So we got some cool stuff to go over today. We're going to get to it here in a little bit. Um, but as usual, we're getting started with some, I'd like to get started with some questions, see if anybody's got any questions before we get busy on the stuff that we're going to do. I'm going to let Nate uh, fly his plane here in a little bit, but um, I've got to go get the camera stand. So while I'm doing that, I'll give it to Nate and let him fly. But um, let's start with questions. What's up with the questions? Anybody got questions today? It doesn't have to take forever and we can always get back to them during the show when I'm doing the uh, unboxing. But um, what's up? You guys get to fly this weekend? Um, yeah, Dave Marshall. It's an air. It's a it's a holiday. I actually had the day off. Um, was working on fiery booties all day, but um, I didn't have to actually work. So, so let me go through and uh, while people are coming up with questions, I'll shout out the peoples that are here. Mr. Mike SSI, who is one of my members. Thank you very much for being here, my friend. Shadow Ops. Um, Mr. Joe Pellegrino, who is another member, uh, Scott Abot, uh, Mr. George Watts, another one of my members, thank you, uh, RC Air Marshal, Jet Tech, Don Atkins, John Shaw, your stuff is in the mail, I just mailed it today, um, Ken Sprouse, um, who else, Nathaniel Pulling, what's up, Barry Campbell, Andy Cho, with the BRC from all the way over there in Australia. Uh, who else? Um, David Schneider, all the way on the East Coast. Trying to stay up with us. Thank you, my friend. How you doing? Um, C Mafia, what's up? Another one of my members. Thank you very much for that. Uh, well, so that's it. Joe Pellegrino, another member. Thank you guys for uh, joining joining the channel to try to help out Gooniac. Very much appreciated. Um, I am a member to just about all the uh, Evan Weasel RC. What's up? I'm I'm a member to just about all the channels out there. I'm a member on RC Air Marshals. Uh, on who else? GB Linden show. I was the first one on his. Uh, Pilot Ryan, who actually became a member. If he shows up, you'll see if he became a member. But um, I just think it's important to support all the guys that are in here, um, and even on the uh, the other guys too. A couple people, I'm, I'm I'm members to everybody. I don't just say become a member on mine. I actually support everybody else's too. Support all their channels, but if you can, please support me too. I appreciate it, much appreciated. Um, but uh, so Nate, you're not even you're you're at your grandma's house. You still got a whole bunch of planes there. Yeah, I've got what seven in the garage right now. Cool. Because I've been going to I've been going to LFE and then I can fly right outside her house. Cool. I got this whole thing. I only get to fly this plane a couple of times a year because this thing lives here. Uh oh, you're freezing. There you go. Okay. <sighs> but you, uh, the F dub flew pretty good. Dude, the FW badass. Cool. Hey, uh, Ghost RC George Pryor, thank you very much, my friend. You're a new member. Very much appreciated. But uh, guys, there's the link. And if you're on your PC, you can click. There's a link right there uh, below the video where you can click it, or it's in the description. You can click that too. Hey, I've already got a thumbs down. Woohoo! Actually, I had that thumbs down. Right, as soon as I put it up, so I kind of have an idea who it is. And whoever it is, hi, you still give me a view. Thank you. 
Thanks for the view. Thanks, buddy. Whoever you are. Um, so cool. Uh, questions, questions, guys. Give me your questions. Come on, anybody, anybody. Questions. I need questions. Anybody got FW questions? Well, I'm a hear it. That thing, badass. Tell you what. We gotta um, see. You're making so. Are you fine this weekend? Nah, I don't know what's going on. We got an offer on the house finally. Okay, good. So Jet I can go back. Actions. Thank you, my friend. So, what? so I can go back home now, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I've, I've gone to LFE twice this week, and I've been flying here like every day. Okay. But, oh yeah. By the way, we're gonna have two FWs because uh, Keon bought one. Oh really? Oh god, two thumbs downs. Hey, thank you guys. Um. Yeah, so whoever's doing that. Yes, Dylan, I did get your message. I haven't had a chance to reply yet, but I did get your message. George Watts told me that you were going to, and I appreciate you reaching out. Just give me a little bit of time. Uh, but you want what do you want to ask? Since we're here, I can, I can answer the question right now. Actually, you know what? I'll put your question up there right now, and I'll address that. So there are a couple ways to get a hold of me. One is through my website, which you did already. Um, but the easiest way is to, um, get a hold of me here. I'll put, I'll put my email here. Uh, email me that way. And then you can, uh, you can get to me that way. But I did get your email. Um, I just haven't had a chance to respond yet because I've been busy with other stuff, but I did get your email. I'll get back to you. Um, you you did go one way, which is through my uh, website. If you click that contact form, you can get a hold of me that way. I am going to be putting more info on the website, but I don't um, actually sell them directly through the website because I make all of them by hand, and I don't want to have so much put on me until I can't keep up with it. So, um. uh, okay, so that's, that's another good question. So what? Hold on. Go ahead. What were you saying? Oh, Barry, Barry Campbell's asking, how does it compare to the Mustang? Um, in terms of build quality, the FW wins because it's got that plastic all around the canopy and all around the where the wing panels come off. Um, they they both have their kind of ups and downs, but in terms of that, the FW kind of. That, you know, they're both awesome. It's just the P-51 is, the P-51 was what led up to this. Basically, the, this is, they did their homework on the P-51. The P-51 is awesome. They both fly equally as awesome. Like, they're locked, you know, you know, they you can fly hands off. The P-51 is a little faster, I will say, but this, this is still pretty quick. It's just not as fast. Um, I don't know what I'd say, which one is harder to land. It depends. It, the, the FW has falls, wider. FW has wider gear. It should be easier. Yeah, well. I mean, they're both wide, but the FW is really wide. If, if, you, if you three point the Falk Wolf, because P fifty ones, we try to flare them, the wing will drop. Um, so P fifty ones a wheelie beast. So if, if, I mean, you can wheel land the P fifty one really easy. It's just if you have a firm or a side loaded touchdown, it's gonna bounce. This thing, if you three point it, like when I flown it out here, when it's dead calm, you three point it, it's easy. But like today at the field, we had like a 20 mile an hour headwind, so I couldn't really flip. I kind of had to wheel land it. So if you're trying to wheel land it, it's a little tricky. But yeah, I, I honestly couldn't tell you which one I'd rather get because they're both equally cool. I mean, the FW is just unique, so I'd probably get an FW because everybody makes P51s. Okay, I cool. like it. And the guns screw on, you know, the lights are awesome. The tail lights, freaking ridiculously bright. This is a drop tank. The cooling fan, the back of the spinner. Cool. So we're going to get to another question. Uh, Dana's RC. Yes, I am making, I have it up on the screen. Yes, I am making Rafael burners. I did get some info today about the uh, interior of the plane, especially behind the fan. It does require, just like the F, um, like the E Flight F4, it does require that you remove probably about, you know, two centimeters worth of uh, worth of foam and the bifurcation to get the burner to fit. But yes, I am selling them um, for the refail. The plane's not out yet, but 
the motor has already been made. Uh, I've already made the burner for that motor for a few planes. So if you're interested, there's my email, gooniak33 at gmail.com. Get a hold of me, and I can uh, hook you up. Let's see what other questions have come up. Yeah, Dylan, I will get to you. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get to you. Um, I got quite a few inquiries today, um, so I haven't been able to keep up on all of them. Um, let's get back to some questions. So let me go scan through and make sure. How far behind are you on booties? David Schneider, I'm not that far behind anymore. I've uh, I've caught up. Um, I've been catching up. I'm going to be sending quite a few this week. I sent five out today. Um, so I'm going to be sending out more. Um, going to be catching up pretty quick. Um, so let's see what else. Trying to see if there's anything else I've missed. Um, yeah, see Mafia, it's a, uh, we had some rain. Sorry if it's been coming to you guys and getting cold, but so somebody said, oh, okay, so that's a good question. Um, RC Air Marshal. I did at first run both the uh, the ring and my fiery booty on my F-16. Then I decided to look in there and see what I needed to unplug so that it wouldn't um, wouldn't come on. And I, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, where it plugs in on the board, it says flame light. Flame so, light. I, <laughs> so I unplug that, and now I, just have, now I just have the fiery booty. That's it. Um, so let's see what else. I need a burner for my A6. Do you make one for the 80 in runner? Yes, I do. Um, the 80, the 80 in runner and the 90 in runner are the same diameter. So I make it for both of those. The only difference is the length and the size of the fan. So burner if you'd like one, A6. what? Burner and A6? Yeah, a lot of people have, I've gotten a lot of orders for those. and I, It works. I make them. Um, so you may have to remove a little bit of foam in that one because I think it's pretty close. Yeah, it, it, somebody was telling, asking me how, like, if I did it, I'm like, no. I love yeah, the side. Right. It's pretty close to the bifurcation in that one, too, so you have to remove a little notch of foam. But, yes, I do sell one, and you can contact me at gooniac33 at gmail.com and put in an inquiry if you want. So let's see. What's Shadow asking? Yeah, nine inches of snow on Saturday. Man, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. Um, Dylan, uh, which plane are you looking for? Which plane are you thinking about? Because they're uh, I have a price range, but I want to make sure I'm on the right plane. Just let me know. Mike got a he's making me get. Yes, make a burner for the E-Flight um, Viper. Yes, I do. Joe Pellegrino with the uh, with the F-16, I was able to run both. But I had the, the um, I had the afterburner on a separate channel. So they had their own flame light, which is connected to the throttle. And then I had my own connected to a, a separate channel, so I could run them both independent of each other. What's up, GB? So, uh, Dylan, tell me what plane you're looking at. So the prices range from sixty dollars up to ninety dollars. It just depends on what um, what the setup is. Prices are actually going to have to go up here in the next month too, because I'm getting charged more for stuff. But as it is right now, sixty and nine, sixty through ninety. Just depends on which one. And then in a minute, I'm gonna let Nate take over so he can do some flying in the in the house. And then I will uh, set up my camera. E Flight F16 is sixty dollars. Dylan, it's sixty bucks. If you're in the USA, that includes shipping. USA. USA. Okay, USA. 
USA. Did they, change, did they change the brush motor in that, or is it the same? It's it's different, but this, this one's got a lot of power. Thank you for the super chat, Ron. Much appreciated. So, hey, Dylan, um, just send me an email. Here, here's my email again. I know you sent an inquiry um, through the site, but uh, send me an email there. Because it's easier to uh, talk to you that way, and I'll check it after the show. I'll be able to talk to you, um, George. No, I don't. Because who is that? Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, because it's an exposed outrunner. Um, the exposed outrunners, I don't. Unless they have a cover over them, I don't. I don't make them. Uh, if you have an in runner in there, does it have an in runner? No, the T thirty three stock is an outrunner. Is it a net runner? Okay. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm very sure. No, George Watts has one, so you can ask him. Yeah, so if it's an outrunner, if it's an outrunner, no, I can't. If it's an in runner of any size, I can do it. Okay, if it's an outrunner, limp, just let me know what motor. If um, I think it's an outrunner. It is an Audi. It's a big outrunner. So let's see. Um, John Shaw, shoot me an email. You've got my email. Um, I just sent out your re replacement controller. Uh, send me an email for the uh, for the um, for the burner. Okay, so um, Nate, you ready to do some flying? Yeah, I've been sitting here ready for what twenty minutes. All right, go fly. I got. I got to get my camera. All hey right, guys, guys. So, uh, huh? Huh? What? Go ahead and fly a little bit, Nate. I got to get my so, uh, camera set up for my unboxing. Shout out, uh, Mr. Air Marshal and GB Linden. Uh, GB Linden hit thirty thousand subscribers, so congrats to him. And uh, Dirty Dave Marshall contributed one of these to the giveaway, and uh, I somehow won it. So uh, here we go, fellas. Flying on a 251S pack with my DX9. And I'm going full, full purple LEDs. This is dedication to Mr. Air Marshal. You know. Purple all the way on the ground. You know. Oh. Ow. I'm going to take my nose. God damn it. This is a shit show. All right, let's uh, stick this battery back on. I don't know why those damn ceiling fan chains are hanging so low, but oh well. Oh. I wish I had a ceiling hat. I could do a loop. I don't know if ceiling. Can I help it? Hell yeah, hover paper. Barely. The battery must be getting low because the LEDs are flashing. Oh! Oh boy. I need, to, I need to give the rudder more throat so it can turn tighter. It's gonna move that little control one. I did that with the elevator. Moved it like one of the inner holes and got a little more throw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that with the rudder right now. I'm gonna give the rudder a little more. Yeah, I'm gonna move the rudder one hole. Just so I can get a little more throw out of it. Move it to the inner hole. There we go. Now I got maximum throw I can get it out of the rudder. Alright, let's try this. Right, there we go. There's some turning radius. There we go, that's the turning radius I've always wanted. 
be some air leaking in here from somewhere because it's getting knocked in here. That kind of hurt. Hit me in the leg. Oh, that's now I'm bleeding. Oh, well. They do figure it out. Right. Do some wing overs. Line for Damn, I hit myself in the leg. Good. Think this little thing made me bleed. Again, shout out Air Marshal. Harbor it again, Nate. I. Right. I'll try. Oh, it doesn't have enough power. Oh, there's a the ceiling fan change. Here, let me plug a fresh battery in it, and then I can, then I can get it to hover. The plug. I was flying that battery like 10 minutes before the show even started. Um, God damn it, I keep dropping the damn Let me put a fresh pack in this thing. Then it'll have it. Um, Evan Weasel RC, yeah, they fly very similar. Um, they both fly a little bit of weight to them. The E-Flight F-18 is probably a little more fun and easier. The F-15 definitely flies heavy, but um, yeah, they fly very similar. Okay, uh, JS, I got a fresh pack in here, so now it's a hover. There we go, there's the power. Here, let's get the hover now. Oh boy. <laughs> I just did a loop. <laughs> it's hovering now. I got a fresh battery on here. A little bit hard to hover a thing with no aileron. Oh, Oh, that was cool. <laughs> Turn the lights off so you can see the light. Oh, okay. I can turn the lights off. Sure. Oh, it's so dark now, eh? Oh, so dark. Yeah, here it is. Free wing all day. I think Nate's having a little too much fun. Cool, you get some actual night flying. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mama. Ah! Can't tell which way it's going. Oh, what? Caught it. Eh. Cool. This thing's fun. 
You see those hella tight cork screws I was doing around? Yeah, that was cool. Keep playing a little bit more, and then we're gonna give it to the build cam. I can't find wow. my can't find my tri tripod, but I'm gonna start pulling stuff apart anyway. I'd be better. Everybody. Yeah, just don't hit the uh, that little dangling thing again. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Oops. That is T twenty eight C now. Oh, not Linden. Linden. Oops. Dude, that was great. <laughs> oh no! What'd you break? Rest in peace to the landing gear. Oops. No, oh, it's all good. These actually, once you take the gear off of them, they actually fly better. I thought it'd be funny to crash into the laptop. I guess that didn't work. But we just take this. Oh wait. Did it just pop off? Oh! Oh! Oh, I like that. They it's changed it. It's Before, modular. They, they were directly, like, like welded into here, but now they just pop out. Huh. Look at that. Well, what do you know? So they did change some things. Yeah, look at that. These, these little trolls just pop right back in. I like that. So you're not, you're not busting the gear off. Well, I was wondering, because I was like... Why isn't the gear broken yet? Nope, they're paying attention, so they put stuff in there that would make it better. That's good. Okay. Keep flying, keep flying, go fly. God, my leg's still bleeding. I crashed this thing into my leg. <laughs> Wee. Wee. That was a pretty good hit, and it didn't break it. Wee. I did buy it. Oh boy. You actually did it. You pulled off a loop. Nice. Very cool. Uh, I did buy it. Oh, Nerd, Nerd Steve, what's up? Forgot to say hi. How are you doing? Ready? Watch this. Over the over the garage door thing. Bank. Not quite over. That wasn't quite over. More like into the garage door thing. Yeah, guys, as I said, make sure to support your fellow RC channels. Um, I think the mount of the gear is like permanently loose on this thing now, so every time I land this thing, the gear is probably going to pop out, but at least it's still have the gear. Better for it to pop out than break. But yeah, guys, support your channels, I and mean, that's why we all help each other out when it comes to giveaways and such. That's just what we do. Um, he needs a UMX bandage or a UMX <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So wait, what was somebody talking about? Wait. All right, so cool. Um, all right. So I've kind of got my. Now you, now you can keep flying if you want. But I've got my build cam set up. I don't have my usual tripod, but I do have my uh, F-104. So keep flying, it, Dave. It's okay. Go ahead. Bang! Oh, still going. Get that light off behind me. I didn't find it. I didn't find it.
Oh, so, I see. Um, the, so, the gear is meant to pop out like a little mount that it pops into, like kind of crack a little bit. So that's why the gear is in there. All right. Well, Nate, go ahead and put that thing away because I'm going to get busy on my build here. You can still, still, we'll still be able to hear you. You're going to hear me. Um, but as you can see, y'all, I got my, I opened up the, uh, thank you, Fred Barron. Very much appreciated, my friend. Fred Barron is always a supporter of the channels. Make Shout sure. out Fred Barron. He's a beast. Yeah, he's always supporting everybody. And he just threw out my, an awesome super chat. Thank you, my friend. He don't give a damn about copyrights. Nope. Thank you very much. All so, right, that's enough for me, I guess. Yeah, no, but thank you. That's cool. We got to see it. Yeah, I think my usual of- my usual tripod is uh, unavailable at the moment, so um, we're gonna have to improvise. I have this other tri this other camera mount. Hopefully, it's not too uh, too bouncy. Looks like it's doing all right. But as I said um, before, we unboxed the uh, F one hundred four that had been stepped all over by Foot X. Um, FedEx is totally mangled, totally mangled. Hey, they got my Oh, hey, we got another little super chat from Nerd Mr. Steve. Nerd Steve. Hey, any super chats appreciated. So, it doesn't matter what the quantity is. So, thank you very much. So, um, we've got the F 104 that was totally destroyed. Thankfully, uh, Motion RC stepped up big time, and they had a person from a person from uh, customer service get a hold of me right away. And I showed them the pictures, I showed them the video, and they sent me a new one right away. So I have opened it up. I have not taken it out, but I opened everything up to make sure it was good. Um, everything was in good shape. So now we can do the proper unboxing so let's get this whole thing uh, nice let's get this whole thing out of the box first sorry, I didn't mean and again sorry if they're shaking but there will, be, there will be some shaking but andy here we cho go. Too. dang andy cho too sheesh man look at Look at you guys. Y'all throwing out. You support the channel, right? So support the channel. Thank you guys. Very much appreciated. You're heeding what I said. I like that. So here it is. This is the new the this is an Arc Plus 70 millimeter F104. I saw Nate flying his. I have flown one in the past. But it was the older EPS, and I don't like EPS. So this. I didn't fly it. I didn't buy one. This one's EPO. As you can see, it's FNRC. But, um, yeah, those guys are cool. They make some good stuff. So the hatch was actually mangled on this one. But the hatch was perfect on the one that was mangled. So I switched them. So all good. So let's get all this stuff open. As you can see, everything looks to be in good shape. I checked before. I didn't actually pull anything out, but we're going to pull everything out today. So thank you, Mr. Andy Cho, for the super chat. Yeah, um, I haven't had any issues with uh, with Motion RC yet. Um, I have heard other people, and I don't plan on having any. But I did give them a shout out for what they did because they didn't have to make it easy. But they did make it easy, and I do appreciate that. So, I made sure that they knew. So. <laughs> oh, Dana, that's funny. So here is the plane, the nose. By the way, there is decals required. The, it's uh, Kit Plus. <laughs> So I am going to be putting my own fan unit in here. I'm actually going to do what I did in the F-18. It's going to be kind of cool. What are you going to put in it? I'm going to put uh, the FMS 1900 KV, but I'm going to change out the rotor 
to the older rotor, which actually worked really good. And like, what the heck? Did they paint it wrong? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, they didn't. It's oblong funky. What happened? The nose. What's wrong how, with it? See how it's keyed? Yeah, that's how it is. I know, but it's sideways. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. That's weird. That That's how mine is, too. That's how they all are. They're, the it's, key it's is long, sideways. As long as it works, that's all I care about. But it's on there. So there's the fuse. The there's the fuse. Glue the wings on because the spark. Literally, the spar only sticks out like this far. Yeah, I'm going to glue them because it's, it's no point in taking them. I have glued those mofos in. Good. I plan on it. Oh, yeah. Let me do it the same. The other side of the vertical just requires some decals. That's it. Some decals. That's why there's decals on the box. You got to put the number and then the squadron pack. Are these uh, sticky or are they water slide? The, you know, it's funny. They're all water, and then, but the star and bar is sticky. What? All right. You don't even need the. Oh, of course. Mike. No, it's actually not Mike this time. Oh, it isn't? Who is it? It's freaking Bone Boy. Dude, Probably. this is crazy. I can't get over the size of these wings. Okay, this is the stab. This is the stab. The vertical stab. I got a, these wings crack me up. Holy crap, this is hilarious. So here's the vertical stab. Pretty small. <laughs> so they only put it on one side. You have to put it on the other side. Well, yeah, because you got to put the white lines. I, I forgot about the white lines and throw them in the garbage. But you got to put the squadron patch and then the uh, the numbering. Okay, so that's the, and I guess that's what this stuff is for. Is it water slide? Yeah, those are water. Ah, ka dunk, ka dunk. I can do them, dude. Water slides are easy. For, for well, you go ahead and do it. I hate them. I'll let you do it. They're not hard. Okay, so this is the part that's, hard, been, part that's blowing me away is these. Okay, so let's get to the tail. I'll get to the wings in a minute. But here <laughs> is. I cannot get over it. Holy crap. The wings consist of nothing. There's like nothing there. But we'll get there. Without the tip tanks, the wingspan is the same as the horizontal stab. Yeah, so there's a horizontal stab. Looks like. It, no, those are. Those are. Uh, no, it's got hinges. No, it's Everything got hinges. Good. Holy crap, it's got hinges. Nice. I don't okay. think the EPS one did. I think they changed No, that. it doesn't. The EPS was, was foam hinges. So I'm impressed. You'll love this thing, Ray. It's definitely, I mean, you you have the big one, so you'll be all right. But when I got it, I had to get used to how the 104 flies. Once you do, it's it's absolutely awesome. So here's the, uh, the tail cone. The last part you put on. There. Thelonious Bump. What's up, man? Angelo. Yeah, I'm going to get the fan from him. If you'll... Okay, this is the funny part, guys. This is the part that is cracking me up. This is the wing for this plane. <laughs> it's nothing. This is the wing for the plane. That's nothing. I love, I mean, I love the, the control it, rod's already done. I love it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I just noticed. So that's less work. You just have to put the elevator one on. That's it. That's no big deal. That's easy. So if you're going to get back to your house, then maybe I'll have you help me with some stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be, now that we got an offer, um, I can go back home. I'm going to go back home tomorrow. Yeah, um, so, so guys, this is a flat bottom wing. Um, I don't think, know if any of you knew that, but they had to because it's so small. In order to get the lift that you need, it's got to be flat bottom. But I can't get over the size of the wing. It's so damn dinky. Holy crap. Hey, Ray. Look, the rods are done. That's super cool. Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, I have, if you want me to do anything for you, the best is this week because I have all week off from school. Okay, cool. I'll bring it. I'll bring You'll bring that? Huh? You'll bring that? I'll bring the F-35 and the F-15. Yeah. Bring it to me. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going until like tomorrow evening, so just bring it to my house Wednesday. Okay. And I can do it for you. I just have a ground lesson with my instructor, but I'll be home. Look at this. Look at this. These are the wings for the plane, guys. Let's go out a little bit. Those are the wings yeah. for the plane. Look at my hand. 
Fred's yeah. right though. It's those tiny wings on the plane can go pretty slow. Yeah, no, it does. But because look at the airfoil, it's a flat bottom. Well, it, the, the real airfoil doesn't have an airfoil. Well, it does barely, barely, super, super thin. But it used um, slats and flaps to change the yeah change the GB. Wing. It's cute, but it don't fly cute. That thing hauls ass. Okay, so here, these things are cool because they add to the they add to the length of the wing. So these might be the only things I detach. This actually acts as flying area. So you put screws there and then line them up. Once I once mine gets beat up, I'm gonna fly without the damn tank. So I want to see. It you you'd be surprised. You, the stability goes away. Well, I'm, yeah, I wasn't doubting that. I mean, way more than you'd think. Oh, I know. Those are, those are literally what acts as a lifting surface. Yeah, and these fins help stabilize the plane. So when you roll, these things actually help stop it. It slows the roll rate down quite a bit. So my ailerons still hell low. My, my ailerons are at like 40%. Look at the spar. This is crazy. Seriously? That's it? Yep. Wow. That's yeah. why I, when I put my wings on, I put a ton of hot glue in there. Yeah, they're getting glued in place because there's no point taking them off. The only thing that will be coming off or the tanks for transportation. I don't even take mine off. Well, the cool thing about the tanks is the way they're threaded, you put the screw with them to get them off. All you have to do is back out the screw two turns and it slides right. off. And it slides off. I saw that. You don't have to take the screws out. Yep. So let's. You're uh, going to love it, Ray. I know I will. I flew it once and it was a, uh, it was a blast. Um, so yeah, check that out. Look at this. You can't see there. Look at this. These. This is the wing, and that's the hor the horizontal stab. <laughs> There's hardly any difference here. Mickey B says the wing spars are drinking straw. Uh, pretty much. So. God, I can't wait. Tomorrow I have I have one more day here. Tomorrow I'm gonna fly the fall with you, buddy. That's the spar. I can't get over. That's the little. Uh, Ventral fin. Yeah, that, that um, thing. Yeah, that thing you have to glue on. The only thing that sucks about it is when you glue it on the plane that sit low. But oh well. Oh yeah, but I don't care. That's the way my other one was too. The other one had the two ventrals. I actually put three on because those two ventrals it would sit flat, but then it would actually break them off. So, so that's the unboxing for this thing. It's kind of cool. There's very Not few very little few parts. <laughs> Very few parts to it. Mickey B. Um, not much to do. Nate, At least, huh? Are you, you're, oh, you're gonna swap for retracts. Because oh, uh, let me grab those. Hold on, let me grab. Good thing. When, when, you, when you put those struts on, the back struts are a little longer, so you kind of have to gnaw out the the. Uh, the foam a little bit and you have to take that plastic cover off and you have to cut that a little bit. Yeah. I have a, a, a Dremel. I can do that with that. And then, um, luckily though, the back legs get a little longer, but then you gain with the nose wheel of the F 16, the nose wheel of the F 16 big. So these are the stock. These are the stock ones. And I'm not going to use those. I wonder I if your retracts work. Cause I, I was so close to just leaving it, but then one of my stock retracts was bad anyway. So, they're too stiff. I don't like it. Well, even with the suspension, it still lands stiff. It does, but not as bad. The same as the F-16. Let me grab them. Merlin RC, if you want this thing, if you want to do this, you got to get it fixed quick because it's, they're going in and out of stock. So this is the uh, what I'm going to add to them. This is the same as the F-16, but they're a, little bit, a little, they're a little bit longer. But you have a long, you have a bigger nose gear, so that the attitude stays the same. Yeah, that's good. So it gives it a slight nose up. No, yeah, it, it takes off really easy. You don't have to yank it off the ground. It just kind of lifts up naturally. Yeah, so we'll have to do, a, if you're able to get out and fly, we'll have to do a... a Formation, formation flying. With the yeah, if, if you get that thing built in the next two years. 
No, I'll get it done. Well, let's get it done this week. I'll bring Eight. you two. Yeah, I'll bring. Okay. I'll bring you two. See, um, see, guys, I make it free burners when I have to build this twenty. Oh, nothing's okay. free. Nothing's free. There's always some sort of an exchange. I don't mind building a building. So, so Jeff and Laura, Alabama, thanks for hanging out with us. See you, so, Jeff. guys. There's the parts. That's what I had on the agenda for showing off today. Oh, let me grab a fan so you can see what fan I'm possibly. No, I'm not. I don't have the fan, but I have a fan that I did think about using. Hold on. So this is the power fun that I had on my F-18 that worked really good in that plane. I used this in the Sky Sword too, and this worked really good um, with the Doctor Mad Thrust uh, twenty nine sixty twenty two hundred kV in runner. Super super good low uh, low amp high thrust setup. Um, for this plane, I'm thinking about doing something a little different. Um, I'm going to use the uh, the FMS 1900 kV. What's up, Hangar 51, Mr. Kenny? Um, so I'm going to use a different setup. I'm going to use the 1900 kV. Uh, Mr. Alan Gentry, I got to put that up there. Thank you, sir. I see that you dropped me a super chat. Very much appreciated. Um, so um, I'm going to put the uh, 1900 kV setup from the FMS, but I made some changes. Let me grab that rotor. I have um, the rotor that comes with the 1900 kV is low pitch, but the one that's the original 1850 kV is pretty high pitch. So, and, and more fan area. So more blade area. So um, since I busted that other one on, on the, on the screen the last week, the last time when I did the balancing, I had to use a, uh, a different rotor so I used the older rotor, and when I flew it, other than it being slightly out of balance, um, the plane was screaming. I was way faster than it had been before, even faster than it was with the uh, the original 1900 kV setup with that original rotor. So Oof. I think I'm going to do that. And oh, with, with this uh, with this F-104, since it's already a fast airframe, it's going to be better. So what's up with Fun Boy? Uh, he he's in Florida. And he had to. He was going to leave the, tomorrow, but he had to hop on a flight today because they're getting snowed in, in Ohio. And he said he would have been stuck in Chicago. Yeah, uh -oh. that would have been fun. Oh, good! You got out. You missed the storm. Sheesh. Dude, you got you got to get them fuckles. So, guys, there you go. You get to see every. You even get to see my slippers there in the shot and my kitty litter in the shot. My cat, I'm surprised she's not in her bed right there. But um, that's the stuff that I'm going to be using to put this thing together. I'll have Nate help me do it since I'm busy on fiery booties. Just if you want to help me. Bring them, bring them to me. This is If you want me to build planes, it's this week. Okay. I mean, I know that you're not going to be able to start it tomorrow, but could I bring it tomorrow? Uh, Yeah. Well, what time are you thinking of bringing it? Like after work. What time would that be? Like I'd be to you by like 3.30. Well, I mean, I won't be home, but you can drop them and you can drop them all. Okay. There. When are you going to be home? I don't know what time my mom's coming to get me, but I don't think I'll be home at three thirty. Okay. Well, never mind. We'll, we'll get it. But I need to get some stuff done. Yep. So that's what I wanted to show y'all. Nate, you got any more batteries for your little uh, your little plane? Merlin, I see what's up. Hey, you're you're all the way in Australia. What's happening, my friend? Thank you for uh, for coming. I mean, I've got more batteries. So John Shaw, let's see what he's saying. He said, "Love your FMA safe 18. I just acquired a second. Do you recommend that I upgrade the fan yet? Which unit came in it? Um, is it the the nineteen hundred kV unit or is it the older V one eighteen fifty? Both of them work great in the plane.
but if you've got the 1900 you don't need to touch it just leave it alone because it was screaming with that it was working really good with that it's quiet so it's deceiving you don't think that it's moving but it is it was really good He says he believes it's the 1900. If it's the 1900, don't mess with it. Just pop open the fan hatch and you'll see it right away. Yeah, you'll, it'll tell you. It'll say it right on the motor. Yeah. Oh, no, you're in lockdown again? Ugh, we had restrictions, but thankfully it didn't lock us inside again. Um. Joe Valdez, what's happening? Also, I am getting your stuff sent out very soon. Um, all of you guys that ordered in January, you're going to be getting your stuff pretty soon because I'm working on stuff like crazy this week. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're working on stuff. So, Nate, go ahead and fly something. I'm going to get this stuff put back in the box. You want to fly your, your little vapor again? Uh, the Vipper Vapor? Sure. I wish I could. I wish it was light out. I could play the flop. Board. Oh shit! So maybe we need to do that one of these days. We should do. You know, if you're you're at your, if you're at your grandmother's house. Hey, that's actually a good idea. But what I want to do one of these days, maybe before you leave, we should do like, um, you fly out in front of your house, and I'll fly out in front of mine with the with the with the Ultrix or something. Set up my camera so you guys can see. Did I, what did I do with my tripod? I don't even know what I did with my tripod. Oh. All right, go ahead, fly. Andy Cho, thank you. You're welcome. All right, good beat, Lord. Wild Bill, yeah, we, we have to have masks in the pits, but if we're out at the field flying, we don't have to because they fog up our glasses. So if we're out actually flying, we separate each other. That's a dead battery. Let me plug up. EQ, the yes, the email. The 20 EQ, battery. I yeah, I grabbed the one that one I already used. EQ, I've got your email. Right, we're all good. That still sounds dead. Maybe You've got telemetry. Just look at the telemetry. See what it says. No, I'm too late to do that. That's too hard. What you need to do is put your telemetry on a button, so you push the button and it tells you. There we go. You can't do that with this one, Dingus. Why? You can't. It's not like a smart ESC where you can you can go into the telemetry and hit ESC and it'll tell you what voltage is. My ultra does. Yeah, the, it has telemetry, but you can't make it talk to you. Yes, you can. Well, maybe Push you're a button. Talk. I need to deal with the smart stuff. This ain't smart, though. All right, Dennis Farley, thanks for coming by and watching us do our usual thing. Ooh. Whoa, dang, don't put a hole in your wing. <laughs> Whack! Did you? No. Okay, good. That sounded bad. Dingus. So, guys, I'm still going to be here, but I'm putting the putting all the, the airplane back in the box. Yeah. Let me take it to Nate. So, if y'all have questions or anything, now's the time. Bang! Bang! <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, D28. I mean, dude, I've had this T28 for over five years. I think I flew that one at one point, didn't I? Or was that... Um... Bombins, not mine. Oh, that was Bombins. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no, I've had this T28, guys. I got this as a Christmas gift in 2015. And on 2016, New Year's Day, I made it. I leave it at my grandma's house. I only fly a couple times a year. But 300 flights later, I don't even know. Probably over more than that. Uh oh, it's all out of 
goes in there. What goes in there. That rubber cap might be out of whack. It's all out of whack. There. The nose goes there. Yeah, I got it right. I don't know. You hear it? It's all out of whack. It's all out of whack. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a lot of whack. What is it? What's wrong? I think the motor shaft's bent, but. Well, what the hell did you do that for? Dingus, super dingus. I gotta remember how I took this shit apart. So then there's the fin. There we go. That's better. Oh, who the hell's that? It's my grandma. She's. I'm. I'm not. She's not home. She took my sister home. Oh, okay. What the heck? There we go. I sent the prop back. Yeah, there we go. We're good now. And I can't remember how to put all this stuff back in. Oops. I want to put the fin back in place. It's not working. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's all bad. Ah, the fin goes in the middle. Okay. It's all a lot of whack. It's all a lot of whack. So wait a minute. Where the, the frick of fracker? So this goes in the middle. Yeah, the motor shaft is probably been, but it's okay. Oh, sweet. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. I'm putting all the stuff back in the box. That's, that's, cool that, that's cool that they put the servos in there uh, with the linkage on the wings. Not a whole, not a whole lot of work to do there. Fly it, fly it, fly it. It's a stink bug. Uh, Alan Gentry, I was going to come to the to uh, Oakdale on on Sunday, but it was Valentine's. But I'm not sure that. It was. They were in safe mode. Whoever would have thought? No safe. Bang! Looks like I should have used safe, y'all. Uh, Alan, if I ever do go to um, go to Oakdale, I'll for sure let you know. I've got to renew my. I've got to renew my. Um, okay, that's enough. My AMA here pretty soon, but uh, well, we should be able to do that before it comes. That's out. enough. I've been flying that little thing pretty much all day, uh, as of all day yesterday. That's enough. Whoa! Oh, excuse me, I'm doing like Nathan, the RC Air Marshal. Burping on camera. Burping and I haven't farted on camera yet, but I'm burping on camera. Well, see, the thing is, is, I don't see what do you count as a fart on camera? A fart that you can hear or just <laughs> one you can hear? Okay. So, because if, if we're counting the ones that we, you don't hear, then man, I've done that. There's a whole time. bunch of a whole yeah. bunch of SBDs going on. That happens all the time, dude, because I usually eat dinner right before the show. Whole bunch of them SBDs. All right, so I got the plane back together. I'm just dropping these gear back in with some foam tack because a little mounts are cracked. All right, cool. My whole goal was that this thing will survive till Monday since so we fly on the show. And it did. Cool. These things usually don't last a week in my hands, though. Mission accomplished. So, uh, hey, Dave, if you heard that, I'm sorry, buddy. GB, I'm sorry, but 
Just, just know that in advance that it, it probably won't be alive by the next show. Just saying. Mm. Not that I don't care. It's just those things are easy to break. It's the same with those little profile UMXs, like the little cat. Dude, I buy those little, little Depron things from the UMX Depron profile things, and those things, if they even make it a day, it's like astonishing. You know what I will say? The new FW is badass, but I also picked up this thing. Dude, this thing, this thing is cool. Your camera's freezing. Oh, the ultimate? This thing's cool. So, Mr. Andy Cho has a question. Uh, the F-22 does not come with anything other than a landing light the, and the nose gear. That's it. Um, the lights that I have on mine, Nate was cool enough to assist me with installing a whole new set of lights on mine. Assist you? You mean assist? You mean do? I, you heard what I said, fool. I said assist with installing the actual lights. You help me. You put them in. You put them in. Um, they're not hard to do either because the ones that you got are all from what's the L39 lights, right? Yeah. This is how we fly, guys. This is how we fly, y'all. I saw that video. Scrape it, scrape it, scrape it. Tail scrape it. Dude, this thing's cool, though. They've got, like, that, that clear sheet sticker that they put on the wing, so it's nice and rigid. This thing's cool. I got this and the focal from the same day. Yeah, EQ, that's my wife's picture. She did that. She painted that. I cut my hair today, so it's added um, to my hair. JS, I know this can do it, but I don't really care for having a break on a 3D plane, so I disabled the break and said, goodbye reverse, because I don't care for reverse. Reverse is only valuable on a seat on like a float plane where you're in water and you can't turn it around. <laughs> uh, I got a story of it in regards to that, too. Um, back in 1993, uh, when I went to my first big ma major RC event, uh, which was the Mer the Merced, not Merced, uh, Madeira quarter scale RC air races. Mr. Pilot Ryan, what's happening? Let him check that out. He's a member of the channel. I'll be damned. Thank you, Mr. Pilot, Mr. Pilot Ryan Media. Thanks for coming by and saying howdy and for being a member. Very much appreciated. Um, 1993, my dad and I, we went to the Madeira air races. They're quarter scale, um, huge planes. Um, the fastest plane there, they had three different classes. They had T6, they had uh, sport class, no, for, uh, T6, Formula One, and um, Unlimited. The, uh, they also, that's where I saw my first turbine. That's where I saw my first uh, 3D helicopter, which was Robert Gorm, who's actually a member of our club and at PCC as well. Um, I don't know how often he comes out. But, um, I saw my first turbine, which was propane powered at the time, propane to start and then kerosene to fly. You know, you know then, what's funny about that? What? Albert was out of the field and he still has a propane assisted turbine. Yeah, he's got one of the old school. Uh, but the whole the whole thing is it's in relation to what Nate just had. There was a, a guy named Chip Hyde. Chip Hyde, who was like a well known RC guy back in the eighties and nineties. He had a uh an ultimate with a G62 gas powered motor. And that's the first time I'd seen a plane hover, the first time I'd seen a plane do anything 3D. He did his whole routine with smoke and all that, flying around like a crazy madman. When he landed, he knew how to get the plane to backfire just right. So it's a two stroke. So if you get the plane to backfire, it'll run backwards. So he got it to backfire and it boom, would run backwards. And he turned the smoke on, was blowing smoke forwards. He was on the ground. He landed, got it to backfire, and then he got it to where it was do that. He'd, he'd drive the thing around backwards with the smoke on, pushing forward. It was the coolest thing. He drove around on the ground until it ran out of gas. But it was an ultimate that did that, um, yeah. just, like what, just like what you've got. But it was big. It was big and heavy because it was a G62, which was like the plane, to, the, um, the motor to have for a quarter-scale plane at that point. Not, not even really quarter-scale. It was big, but it was a big plane. 
Yeah, I mean, if you see those things to idle, <clears throat> see those things to idle at low RPM, no, no crank back right, right around. That's what it did. He'd get it to backfire. It popped and then started spinning backwards. It was cool. We almost had a bad accident at the airport recently. Who was who? Um, some guy was has he has an airplane that doesn't have a starter, and this, this is a, this is a check that you should do. It's mag this is check, a check right? That you, do. you have you have an airplane with like a key, you know, magneto system. Obviously, I mean, every airplane that fits and has a go. But check your ground wire. So, like when you're idling before you shut the engine off, just instead of pulling the mixture, turn the engine off by pulling turning the keys. Make sure the engine dies. So basically, this guy was turning his prop through, priming the engine, and his ground wire was fucked, and his right magneto, his right magneto was was still alive. And he was turning the prop through. It it luckily it didn't fire, but it, it like popped, and he was like, okay. oh shit. And yeah. then but the mags were off. But his ground wire ground and his wires, magneto man. was all messed up. So yeah, he took it to the maintenance and they're like, he's like, what's going on? My mags were off, make sure mixture was off why did this thing want to fire and he's like well and he looked at it he's like yeah your ground wire is messed up so your right magneto has been on this entire time so it was wanting to fire and i was like holy crap that could have been bad it's lucky it popped and it didn't well, yeah, out of hand. the mixture was lean so okay. it it was i don't know but luckily the the mixture wasn't in enough to where it was going to fire we got lucky. Yeah, that's bad. That could have done a lot of bad things. Discover RC, what's good? Hey, hey some, Discover. Some that's videos. Cool. Tell me some videos with my boy Mike Firefox. Mike's been uh, kind of showing it out, showing off out there, man. Have you seen that? Yeah. He's, he's, that's some of the best flying I've ever seen him do out there. <laughs> I know. When Mike's not with us, he's an amazing pilot. He flew amazing. I mean, completely amazing. Blew, it was blowing me away seeing him fly. Like, damn, Mike, okay. I mean, I know he can, but but still. He doesn't like to show those skills when he's with us. I don't know why. Yeah. He, um, he brought a little CJ6 to the field today. He's flying the shit out of that. Back but, in the days, I, I knew somebody that had uh, the same sort of issue with the hand propping thing, Nate. Um, but the plane started, and it was bad. Uh, yeah. Thankfully, That's they got bad. out of the way. They got out of the way, but the plane, it didn't take off. It just ended up. No, I, I, I've seen those stories. It, it happened with the Cirrus, too. The idiot left the mags on. Um, yeah. That happened in Truckee, too. Um, when I did that seminar, a guy told me, he told us a story. Um, basically, at Truckee, Tahoe, you could park your airplane, and, like, the, the maintenance, like, or not the maintenance, but, like, the ramp people can, like, tow your airplane. Um, and this should be a thing that all maintenance people should do. Because like single engine airplanes, and you know, if it's like a Cessna, you know, you're putting the tober on the wheel, and sometimes you got to move the prop out of the way. And I guess one time, guy landed his plane, parked it there, forgot to turn the mags off, and the ramp guy walks over to the airplane and he turns the prop, and it fires. Pink. Luckily, again, the mixture was lean, so the the engine ran for like two seconds and it shut off, but still. Yeah. yeah, I don't got even if the pilot says like whenever I move the Pawnees at the glider port, you know, the pilot says mags off, but I, I just go look and like, okay, those mags are off. I can turn this prop. Did you hear about the one over in the I think it was Novato? This was a long time ago in the nineties. Um, hand propped a plane doing the same thing. It was an Aronka champ and they were trying to prime it and it started because the mags were on. He jumped out of the way. It was part throttle. Wasn't full. Wasn't half. It was like part. And you know those planes. They weigh nothing. Mm -hmm. um, it took off and flew away. It just took off and flew away. And they found it. It hit a hill somewhere like 15 miles Wait, away. It, it flew away when the throttle was just cracked? The throttle was cracked enough to where it got enough momentum took off and flew away Jeez. it just took off they it hand propped they're just trying to prime it and did, it he have the, did he have the stick like tied somehow it was trimmed the way it was trimmed it took off well, yeah some of the things, 
like the Pawnee is funny. Like the tow pilots always talk about how they can cheat with taxiing because if you just put the trim all the way back, the stick will hold it back. So you don't have to hold yeah. the stick for taxiing. So the plane took, this is when I sold cars in Santa Rosa. I think it was like 97, 98. That was 98 or 90. No, it was 99. It took off. I think it was from either Pen Grove or Ronan Park, somewhere in there, just a random place. And it took off. It might have been more than throttle, but I remember it took off. The guys freaked out because they thought it was going to crash into something. They they chased after it. They tried to grab it. Didn't matter. It took off, flew itself, and ended up hitting the hitting the side of a hill, like fifteen miles away. Jeez. It just took it just took off and flew. It was enough throttle. It would you know it bounced a couple times on the ground and then it was in the air and was flying yeah. away. And it, it it flew away. It wasn't even. It was just on the grass. It wasn't even on the runway. But yeah, I have to look it up. But this is in the nineties. I think ninety eight or ninety nine. It happened. Pretty funny. Nobody was hurt, thankfully. But the plane did crash. It was an Aronka Champ, flying all by itself. Put putting along. Everybody. It was piloting itself. That's just proof that airplane doesn't need a pilot to fly. It will fly on its own. At least well. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we're still here. We got 41 people up in here. What y'all want to talk about? Anything else? That's another uh, plane that I got from the pilot Ryan giveaway or something that he uh, had uh, something that he had thrown into the, the giveaway. I think it was Dave RC. Who's was it Dave's RC? No, it was Kenny. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. That plane that Nate's holding right there. Well, that's pretty good. It's a fun plane. I, I did a nice little side loaded landing, so that tire has a nice little, little scratches on it. Crunch. Cross uh, landing sometimes. No, nope, you know, I'm not perfect. Discover RC, no, you're not at all. Uh, Discover RC, did you notice that uh, that F 16 that Mike had? That it sounded like a machine gun taking off because <laughs> it's totally flat spotted on one of the wheels. That was hilarious that day. I was laughing so hard. The that nose wheel, the nose wheel locked up. Then the tail wheel locked up. I mean, not the tail wheel. The I forget what side, but it was one of me. Hilarious, hilarious. He tried to take off. It's just skidding down the runway. Yeah, the wheel was locked up. He tried to take off. It was dragging the foam, and then all of a sudden, there's a big flat spot. Huge, huge, huge. Yeah. Wait, Victor, you have your big uh, Aero Foam L39. Um, Victor, so you guys are good now? You feeling better? After your COVID? After dealing with the COVID? The coronavirus? Coronavirus! What time is it? 8.30? Oh, I guess we got through that pretty quick. Man, I've been waiting to know. Oh, shit. Yeah, Victor, I don't care about the thumbs down. Those things crack me up. Y'all can thumbs down all you want. As long as you've watched the show, that's all I care about. Hey, still a view. Thumbs down. Don't do nothing to me, y'all. I got 33 thumbs up. Anybody want to see some thoughtful? But y'all, I I do appreciate thumbs up because that makes it so that the algorithm sees that I've got people looking and it puts my stuff in other people's suggestions. So if you could thumbs up it for me, I'd appreciate it. We're at 33, 33 right now. 39. Oh crap, it went up. The more the better. Does anybody want to see some thoughtful? <sighs> So if I can find my dang tripod, or I might have to buy another one, I might have left it. I didn't see it at the field. So. No, I didn't leave it at the field. I might have left it in Fresno. Or it's in the trunk. No, it's in the trunk of my car. Never mind. It's in the trunk of my car. I left it in the trunk. I'm not thinking about it. Now we're up to 42. Oh, we got another thumbs down. Woohoo! Thank you, buddy, whoever the hell you are. Man. That's 45 interactions. I don't care. Y'all are funny. No, no, no. So guys, if you're ever hitting the thumbs down on somebody's video, hit it once, but then hit it, hit the thumbs down again. Like <laughs> hit it twice. That's great. Yeah. 
Oh, I didn't thumbs up. I just thumbs up. You think? Well, I, sorry. Doing it's an not... awesome. What is happening, my friend? Oops. That was my thumb, I guess. So jet tech Don, that's why you say you were a jet tech because you worked on stuff. That's cool. What did you work on the most in your uh, your A and P career? Seems so little. The little or why is it bigger? Oops. What did you just do? Set the plane on the ground. Sound like you broke something. Sheesh. Probably the damn echo in this garage that makes everything sound so dramatic. Clang a lang a lang. See? Okay. Well, if, if you say so. You dang it. Field vandalized. Oh, man. What? What happened? Oh, no. What happened? What field? Somebody showed up to the uh, showed up to the field at uh, Oakdale, dumped everything out, emptied all the uh, all the fire extinguishers. What? Set stuff on fire. They set the tarps on fire. What the uh -huh. hell? Let me see this. Are you a member of a? Uh, I, I I am, but I haven't renewed like probably in two years, so I probably don't get stuff. What the hell? They burned up the. Uh, you can't see it. The fuck? They burned up the all this stuff. Just stupid people with all this extra time on their hands. Looks like they tried to start a fire and it didn't quite work. God. I no. it. Dumped out all the stuff that's in the. That's out there. They lock up the field, so somebody had to really try to get in there. Awful. They took the shovels. They found a beer. <laughs> wow. Oh well. That's that's my good. Twenty years, single twin piston, twin turbo props, bombardier challenges. Oh, cool. Oh, Lear jets too. Nice. Okay, cool. So Timothy Nelson was an F-18 mech in the Navy. Cool. Nice. I played Fox 190. It was very fun. Let me check the thumbs up count. 44 and two down. Woohoo! Whee! All right, see you, Evan uh, Weasel RC. Evan Weasel RC, thanks for coming and hanging out. Very yeah. much appreciated. Thanks for the thumbs up if you gave one. Yeah, guys, it was Victor that vandalized the field. Huh? Yeah, Victor, you did it. Yeah, but, uh, that's, uh, thankfully there wasn't a whole lot of stuff in there. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that was Livermore. They could have made it. They could have made a house out of all the stuff at Livermore. Yeah, well, thankfully we lock our stuff up, so you can't even get in there. But there are a couple things you can get to, and the stuff that people can get to, we don't care. But yeah, somebody was just bored, boarded. Uh, that plane's pretty cool. I like the way that they have the plastic on the edges. That sounds like a machine gun, because that keeps the uh, keeps all the, all the soft edges from getting trampled yeah. on. And being on the canopy, the drop canopy, you're fine. Yeah, but look at that, all plastic. Now that right there is a selling feature for that plane for me. Because if there's anything I dislike about my Mustang and some other stuff, it's the fact that there's edges that you've got to be very careful of. Yeah, this thing you can beat the shut is the all this the front of this nose plastic. Plastico. All the little trim tabs on the wings, plastic. The um, all the guns, screw on. Screw on, screw off. You know, then, you know Kazra, right, Nate? Yeah. He has an FMS FW190 that he's had forever. He's got a couple of them. Yeah. Like Ball that. bearing wheels, the retracts. I mean, these are solid. And then you know what's cool is 
and you take this drop tank off, the, the, it flies, it still flies really good with the drop tank. There's no aerodynamic difference, just a little speed. So if you take the drop tank off, and then when you're not flying with the drop tank, it has this little doohickey. Cover. I think it might be clean. But it looks really cool in the air with the drop tank, and flying it, there's no like, it flies the exact same, maybe it like five miles an hour. But um, super, super, super nice. I love it, guys. If you're willing to put a little bit of money down on it, I think this is the same price as the P51. You're getting a lot more out of the 500 bucks in that thing than you are the P51. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It is easier to fly, too, I will say. And it, it, if you three-point land it, it's easier to three-point out. If you try to wheel land this thing, good luck. Um, but Alan, Gent Alan Gentry, is the, the way to come up is back through from the lake, right? So somebody was probably on the lake and came up, most likely. That's the cool thing about Oakdale. It's got that lake behind it. Yeah, foam boy. The T, the big T twenty eight is five fifty. When I got my big T twenty eight, it was like four ninety nine. Cause I, I got like I was one of the first people to get it. That was like a pre order, back when it first came out. I don't so know what many, it is. How much is the FW? Five hundred fine and fly, and it's four fifty nine without one, without a receiver. And then with the battery, it's like five fifty. Yeah, I don't know how long the battery combo goes, but yeah, you can buy one. Um, you can buy the combo and it comes with this pack, the ones that I have, the 30 C5000s. Those, those are good packs too. Yeah, it's not those right. stupid, it's not those stupid G2 packs. Some somebody was asking about Rafael. Who was it? Um, sweet Fred Baron. Joe Pellegrino, you're asking about hat cam. I have to get my run cam back up and running again. See you, Ghost. RC, George Pryor. See you, man. See you, Ghost. George Pryor. Adios. Yeah. Yeah, the T28 is expensive. You know, for me, it's kind of confusing because the T28, it was uh, people, a bunch of people had gear issues, a bunch of other issues. My T28 is petite. Oh, yeah, but I, I know a whole bunch of people that have problems with the gear. Dude, you've seen mine, how I beat the crap out of it, and the gear still worked perfect. Yep, so you got one of the good ones. I, I didn't get the lemon in the batch, I guess. I got lucky. Yeah, I know a lot of people that would go up part way and stop. And they wouldn't, that was like or, jack. Or one, one would come down, the others wouldn't. Or other it's way like around. Dynam yeah. Like dynamic retracts. I guess Dynam's gotten better. I'm excited to see that. Uh, apparently, Keon actually ordered a Hawker Hunter, but then he canceled it because he's like, nah. So why did he order it and cancel? That's dumb. Well, because he wanted the Fockles. I'm, a, I'm excited. I'm not going to get that Hawker Hunter until I see one, but I think I'm going to like it, and I think I might buy one. Okay. It's like 250 And it's got, I can tell that, with, that Hawker Hunter has FMS in its blood. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe the fan does not look like FMS at all. No, it's it's something else. Yeah, the hinges the hinges on the T twenty eight are fine. They're all it's all hinge except the flaps are foam hinge. Both of my flaps have been like tape hinge though because one of them came loose and the second one key on crashes flight test arrow into the thing and ripped the flap off. Uh, Z Zane Lathram, are you still here? I I see that you were saying hi and I don't know if anybody else said hi. But I'm saying hi to you now, now that I'm going back and looking. Hi. Uh, your order's on the way, too, by the way. It was sent last week. So. Get the Arrows F-15, Zane says. Eh. Meh. I plan on it. I have a big 90, but I don't have... I like the small sizes. I like the 90. If you get one and you absolutely love it, I'll get it. But From what I've seen, it flies amazing, but... I don't want it to be like the MiG-29 where I, I, almost, I literally almost bought that MiG, but I didn't, and I'm glad I didn't because you hate it. The uh, Arrows MiG-29 is okay, but not for me. And I'm selling mine if anybody wants it. If, you're, if you guys are local and you want it, let me know. So, yeah, Zane, those, uh, I hope they're right about it coming tomorrow. 
but the uh, the post postal service is running slow. I've been getting updates from stuff from last week today, so their stuff has slowed way down. Just don't be disappointed if it gets pushed out a little longer. They're they're having to deal with all these uh, COVID issues. There are people being sick. Gooniac balanced. So, um, anything else anybody wants to talk about? We still got 41 people going. That's cool. Thank y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button while you're here, if you hit haven't already. Button. Don't hit the dislike. Hit the hit dislike the twice and hit the thumbs up once. There you go. Right. Go ahead and do that. See you, Ken Sprouse. Pilot Keon. Jerry, or see what's up. What's Keon. up, Keon? How you doing, Keon? I was out flying with Keon today. He got some good videos of the FW, and he's very excited to get his own. Keon, you know what tripped me out yesterday? There was somebody we were ordering food. Somebody called the name Keon for to pick up food. And I went, what? I went and looked, and I waited to see who it was that went up to get it. It wasn't you, but it was still your name. It was pretty funny. Was yeah. it like was it was it K E Y O N? Yeah. Was it it was the last they said, they said Keon. They looked again, they said Mr. Keon. They said it again. He's all Keon, Keon, yes, me. This little Asian guy goes up and gets it. Keon, ah, Keon. <laughs> that's not Keon. <laughs> that ain't him. But yeah, I thought it was funny. Thing. Yeah, Keon got, some, Keon got some good videos on my FW today. Shout yeah. out to him. So we'll hopefully get some, if you're able to fly this weekend. Is that Jermaine Spencer? What's up, Jermaine Spencer? Or are you leaving? He's leaving. See you, Jermaine. Thanks, thanks for coming by, Jermaine. I should be able to fly this weekend. We'll see. I hope, because I want to get my, I want to fly my F4 again. Because my F4, my F, I brought my grip in from the hangar, because I had to put, my F4, my Gripen, my F35, my 104, my MiG-29, and the hangar because those were sitting on the floor. I didn't want like people stepping on them. So I flew the F4, but now it's sitting in the hangar. Oh, yeah, also, this showed up for the F4, too. I'm going to stick this in there see if it helps it out a little bit. A3O? A3O. It already flew good. On your passes, you flew by. It was rock solid on it. Yeah. By. I just want to try it because what the hell. Pilot Jerry, give me time. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Let me see. Let me see what the weather's looking like this weekend in Livermore. Saturday would be my day. Yeah, west northwest Saturday. It's more. It's almost directly north Sunday, and it's almost directly west Saturday. So Saturday's the day. Saturday. If I can be there, I will be there. I'll try to make it. See what I'm doing. See. You. Good night, Zane. Uh, good night, Jermaine. Good night, Ken Sprouse. Yeah, Pilot Jerry, I'm cranking away trying to get these done. I had a big old stack, stack of boxes lined up on my table over here. They're all gone. It's like it was look windy. At, look at the climb. It won't go straight up, but it'll go. Merlin RC, Nate's A6 is pretty cool, especially with that new end runner. He likes it. Grab it next time. Thank you, Joe Pellegr Thank you, Joe Pellegrino. Um, that video was fun to make. I had to. I actually made it all on my phone, but I took the videos throughout the day and then just clipped them all together. Merlin RC, definitely get one of these. Cool little plane. I haven't flown it in a while, so I brought it to my grandma's to give it some love again. But yeah, the A6 comes with the nine blade. Now mine has the twelve blade in it, and um, but sweet airplane, you'll love it. It's fun to fly. It's goofy looking, but it flies really good. So cool. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get an F-104 in this in the uh, the little F-104 in the sky this weekend. I need to check and see if I have a Lemon RX, a free Lemon. 
Uh, Nate, I didn't tell you what I'm going to do. Guess what, what I'm going to do. Guess what I'm going to do. For the F-35. What, am I, what are you going to do? You're supposed to guess. I don't fucking know. Begins with an eight. An eight? Mm-hmm. Or eight? I'm going to put an 80 millimeter in it. Oh. If I can get it to work, I'm putting an 80 millimeter in that F-35. I was about to say something bad, but I feel like that would have... Yeah, no. No, don't. I'm going to put an 80 millimeter fan in the F-35. I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? I use the same thing. Let's just do something different. I'm going to do something different. What are you typing? You're typing something. Don't speak. You'll be typing. So yeah, uh, we're gonna have something. Maybe I can do that on the show the next time. We're gonna. Uh, I'll show you how I get that thing to work. Uh, but I'm gonna put. Let's see if I have one here. I think I have an eighty. I do have an eighty. Let me grab it. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Take a private jet real quick for you. <laughs> oh God, you idiot! Shut up. <laughs> No. <laughs> Hold on a At least I didn't say it out loud. Yeah, uh, Discover RC, the A6 is a free wing. Free wing. Free wing. The China Specials. So I've got this. This here 80 millimeter from my old F-18. Well, it's not old. I still fly it. But this is the 80. I was supposed to put in my F-16, but that thing's still sitting in disarray. Two years. So, two years. Two whole years. So this, it's only a little bit bigger than that. A little bit. I want to get that to fit in my F-35. I think you're going to absolutely scream. Is that a 2000 or a 2100? This is a 2000. I want to put a 2100. That's too heavy. But this is a 2000. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to make that thing a real. You're going to make that an Ivy Bite at Beast? Yes. <laughs> Wing free. <laughs> yeah. If I fly fast enough, the wings will go, wee. They will depart. But yeah, so I might even do some of that work on the show. Uh, this is going to require quite a bit of dremeling to get to work. But. I can take that off too. This doesn't even need to be there anymore. But yeah, so that's gonna. This was from my uh, E Flight F eighteen. This is the eighty millimeter FMS. Thankfully, it's got the new rotor with the metal spinner and metal infused rotor. What's this? What plane is this? The FW. Very nice. Again, it's hard to weave land, but it had 20 mile an hour headwind. Uh, so we need to have a day where I have my red tail out there and I fly the red tail with that. What are you laughing at? Nothing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin the show, don't worry. The what? Because you're gonna bring up my bounce landings? No, I, I'm mm. just looking at funny aviation memes. Mm. We'll put that I'll send it. I'll send it to you so you get your clarification. You will be pilot. You will be pilot. <laughs> so I just got a message from someone. Was it from that me? Was me. Yes. I just sent you what I was laughing at so you get clarification. <laughs> oh God! Okay, <laughs> idiots. See, but you're not an actor, you're not a full scale pilot, so you can't laugh at that. I know what airport that is. That is the face you make when you do get a taxi clearance at a huge airport. Okay then. Where do you want me to go? <laughs> I'm not a pilot. You I'm might not a pilot. Yeah, discover RC that's LFP. And yes. The petite buttery landing. Yeah, Discover RC, you need to come out there. It's not that far away, is it? Just come out and hang with us for a day. Watch it's us all fly like idiots. 
Come they fly in. Uh, see, if I was to go to fly with those guys, that I'd, I'd, I'd do it when I was with my grandma because she lives in Manteca. So from here to Moraga, it's, from here to yeah, Moraga, it's probably like an hour. Where are they? Moraga. At that school, it's in Moraga. Yeah, that's Mar like Oak. That's like Oakland almost, isn't it? Yeah. It's an hour away from this house um, in Manteca, so. So that's like a uh, half hour from Livermore. Something like that. No, oh, wait, Moraga, that's where. That's up Mar Mar That's where St. Mary's School is, isn't it? Yeah, over the hill from Oakland. Okay. Yeah, over the hill from Oakland. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, GB. I thought that was funny. What? I hadn't seen the video before. Somebody told me to check it out. Oh, uh, what? Wild Bill Flynn's Mirage Crash or something? No, the, the Mirage video, the Nine Blade Mirage video uh, from Motion RC. <laughs> you see it? No. From when they first changed it to the Tiger Scheme? Oh, yeah. What happened with Pilot Ryan? I'd never seen it before. I didn't know. <laughs> Pretty damn funny. But... I've seen that. Yeah, he had the ailerons reversed. James, dude, apparently James did that too, but he saved it. So then why did he give hard, Pilot Ryan such a hard time? Well, no, he, this was recently. Like he had the this is the this is what yeah. Justin. That's when um, a Justin Lamb guy went over there and they were doing the gripping videos. He put a he put a nine blade in runner in the Mirage, and according like to what I've heard. He had the ailerons reversed, but he, he managed to like snap out of it and save it. See, but the thing is, he's trying to make it all oh, this is a learning experience and all that stuff, but obviously he didn't learn from it. He did the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> whatever. Tyler yeah, Ryan's like, oops. <sighs> no, hey, whatever. We all do it. Who cares? Just exactly. do your freaking pre just do your freaking pre pre, pre flights. I've had to save a couple people that have taken off with reversed ailerons. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts your head when you're trying to fly a plane backwards. Hey, Discover RC, just know that your boy Firefox, uh, he's done the reverse ailerons trick a couple times. Oh, yeah. Well, I saw one. It was bad. We've all done it. Just don't do it more, <laughs> don't do it more than once. I've only, I've only done it once, and it won't ever happen again. Yeah. I, I did that, that blue E-Flight e -flight Sukhoi. It was the blue E-Flight Sukhoi, mm -hmm. and I love that thing like so much. Got it, made in flight, ailerons reverse, takes off, went, boom, destroyed it. Pissed. Thankfully, I, I caught mine on the ground because I always do a thorough, thorough pre flight. I'm going to show and you. I have someone, have someone help me. It's the most important I'm, thing. I'm going to show you quite the save. Right, left. It does happen. I'm going to show you what Ben Mackles did. You've probably seen this. Um, but Ben, when Ben had first, you know, you remember Ben, right? Yeah, I know who he is. Um, when he had first gotten his first Extreme Flight 91 inch extra, um, he pulled the aileron reverse trick. But man, the way he saved it was incredible. It was on the maiden flight, too. Um, I gotta find the video. That's the problem. Well, keep talking. I'll find the video, and I'll, once I find it, I'll show you. Airvex, what's happening? You've got your stuff on the way too. You should have it here pretty soon. Yeah, the key to it with. Uh... Any one of these things, learn from the mistakes. Try not to make that same mistake twice. Keyword, try not to. Can't always, but try not to. I know it's on Walter's channel. It's gonna... Yeah, Paul McNeil, that's about what it takes for me to get to Livermore. Oh, yeah, here it is. That's the thumbnail. I'll show you the thumbnail. This is insane. If you give me the link, I can put I can put it on where everybody can see it. I'll just show it on here. But um, 
basically this thing's brand new, right? And they spend forever, like they're tuning the engine. They spend forever on everything, but they didn't check the controls. So they get the engine going. This is the maiden flight, brand new plane. Watch what happens. Whose video is this? Oh, crap. That was Ben. Ben was like a 10-year-old kid, 12-year-old kid at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't check the controls, and he saved it. God, just barely. Whose video is that? It's Walter's. I can Walter send you the I was going to say it's probably Walter. He's caught a whole bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. Ben was like sh shit in his pants, but then they reversed the ailerons and he flew it. Just had a little bit of wing damage. It's easy fix. That that was bad. I remember, too, I was fucking with Keon that day when that happened. And I, I, uh, Cussage. Stop at the cussage. And I was... I was talking the day they made that. I was like, I wonder how many dads are Man, that was, that was bad. Five years ago. That was... It was a while ago, yeah. This was the, this yeah. was the good old days. So yeah, he was like 14 or 15. Then. This is the before Guniac days. Oh, wow. The motor's still running, too. It didn't quit. Wow. Mm -mm. Yeah, he got like just a little bit of wing rash. That's easy to fix. Yeah, no, he he had that thing. <laughs> like, he's got the baby face going. He's, he's looking like, at it like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his dad was the pit crew. God, he got lucky to he didn't just totally destroy that plane. He didn't break landing gear or anything. Wow. Mm -mm. Nice. He snapped out of it like really fast. He's like, oop, that's not the right way. Go the other way. Bing, bang, bang, bing, 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 bang, 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 bing, bang, bang. So I don't think Air, Air Marshal is still on here. But um, I had a video I wanted to share with everybody about uh, air racing stuff that I did back in the days when we used to fly at Baylands. I will. I, I see it here in a second. So, Aravex, what do you say? Can you recommend? I'll put that up there. That's a good question. I have my record. Can you recommend an 80 millimeter jet that slows down well and has a shorter rollout? Hell yes, I can, especially if it's an 80. You know what I'm going to say, Nate? Yeah, I'm going to say FMS Hawk for an 80. That plane is amazing. It's Better than the freaking Havoc. Everybody always says Havoc. This ha no, 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 no. The Hawk is amazing. It's a trainer. It's crazy high speed. It's crazy aerobatic. Get the Hawk. The Hawk is an amazing plane. Don't get the, uh, the free wing Hawk. Get the FMS Hawk. The free wing Hawk. Can... The free wing Hawk is not bad, but it's nowhere near as good as the FMS. The no wings are free wing and it's hard to land. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people that love it. That's fine. That's great. I'm not going to say don't do it, but the FMS Hawk is amazing. Havoc, amazing. I I never my Havoc was a pre-order and I had a bunch of issues with it. And it's a sport jet, but it's got a heavy wing loading. So if you try to slow it down, you tip stall it. It won't slow. I almost it killed my. Uh, Kia's Keon's dad. He he kept snapping the thing on landing. So, but yes, FMS Hawk. It's under four hundred bucks. Totally worth it. They had it on sale for a little while. I almost bought another one. I got mine back together this weekend. I need to get another one. I want to get another one because it is amazing. What I want to do is get a brand new one before I even fly it. Just totally slather it down in clear coat and make it like crazy crispy shiny, and then I'm going to have. Crispy, so I don't have to worry about it because that plane is amazing, amazing. If you've never flown an EDF before, you could fly that no problem. If you have flown EDFs before, regardless of the size, 70 or 70, 80, whatever, or 64, if you've flown a 64 millimeter, get the FMS Hawk. I know people will say, and it's like for the Fred Baron saying too, the Avanti is an awesome plane. The Avanti is sweet, but the 
FMS Hawk. It's a scale plane. It flies impeccable. I mean, better than anything you can. The other thing. Say. I always talk about this with the Fruing Avanti. The Fruing Avanti's got that big old nose gear. If you land the Avanti flat, it's going to just porpoise down the entire runway. I actually, me, I did it. Yeah. Fruing Avanti landed flat, bounced cartwheel. And I was like, what the hell? I was landing in the pitch black too, so that didn't help. So I couldn't see what the runway was. And so, no Air, dang, Airvex, you got a whole bunch of good questions today. Woohoo. So yes, Keon, I got my hawk together. So you need to do that. let's do the hawk. Let's do more of the hawk of havoc stuff. Um, but um, and also, I'm going to put in the uh, the chat here. In the chat. This is a video. If you guys haven't seen me do any air racing stuff, this is a video for you guys to watch. Um, so Airvex, I've had all of those. I've flown all of those. I had the E Flight F16. I had the FMS Avanti. The FMS Avanti is a badass little plane too. That thing's fast. Um, if I out of all those three, I'd still suggest the Hawk. The Hawk is amazing. It flies like all of those planes, but better. Uh, Spencer Slows me way down. Freewing L thirty nine is also a beast. Yes, Freewing L thirty nine, especially the one with the end runner. But all the all the freewings. I still have my twelve blade that was in my first one. I'm, just, I'm every time I get a new plane, I'm so tempted to get another one of those. I think my next one, since I got this FW. I want. I'm gonna get the 262 next, and I'm moving into a bigger house. So I'll have like double the plane capacity. Y'all coming up with some good questions today. It's another good one. How does the Hawk compare to the E-Flight Viper? It doesn't. It doesn't. There's no comparison. <laughs> no, they both fly great. The E-Flight hey, Viper Bobby. flies great. Hey Bobby, watch this. I fly Viper. Um, <laughs> the Viper, the Viper is easy to fly. But it's you know it's not crazy fast. The Hawk will fly slower, but it will also fly faster than the E Flight. Well, again, and the the, F, the FMS, the E Flight Viper, the landing gear trash. Yeah. Chicken wire struts, and the E Flight Viper needs like the amount, like the maximum amount of elevator so it can get the flare. Yeah. E Flight Viper is a great plane. Nothing wrong with it. If you want a better plane, get the Hawk. Um, and yeah, BD Tennessee. I turned the comments off because people are crazy. Um, that plane was that the rate the radio killed it. Everybody tries to come up with all this other crap. No, 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 no. That AR six three six that was in there is the reason why it died. The guy could have been because one of the antennas came off. It could have been because of something fall. I don't know. I, I remember it too. It just seemed weird. Yeah, it shut off. I had no control of the motor. I had no control of anything, but the AS3X was still working because you could you could see it correcting the, what the plane was doing. Sure, BD Tennessee. FMS Avanti. FMS greater. Avanti is better than yes, better than the Viper. The FMS Avanti is a badass little plane. Yeah, Alan Gentry, check it out. FMS Hawk is badass. Yes, FMS Hawk. Um, out of the top three that are good, FMS Hawk, Freewing Avanti, uh, Freewing L39. But seriously, the best e plane. FW90. I'm talking about jets. The best plane, everything for the best plane, the, the plane that's good at everything is the FMS Hawk. May not be quite as fast as the L39 top end, but it for sure can fly slower. <laughs> The L39 top end in runner, that thing's fast. That's why mine was obliterated. Yeah. Yeah, I may get another hop. Yeah, I will. Spencer Keith, what's happening? You know me, I always get airplanes. I so. see that you're there. What's he saying? Grass. I'm getting I get planes like Spencer Keith gets planes. Uh, you're right, free wing T thirty three is pretty good if you want military yeah, skill. Do but that. the FMS Hawk will fly slower. Oh yeah. Well, T33 will go really slow. Not as slow as the Hawk. The Hawk's lighter. The other thing about T33, too, you, it's not like you have to yank it off the ground. It doesn't kind of just fly off the ground by itself. Merlin RC, you're right. They didn't sell that enough. They didn't They didn't sell it. I should have bought one. The 70 millimeter, um, <laughs> 70 millimeter Hawk. That yeah. was a really, the T45, that was a good plane. 
but they sold it for a very short period of time. And you're right, it is. It's like a cheaper hawk. They sold it was so cheap. I should have bought it. They had them on sale for one ninety nine. Do it, Fred. You need to, Fred Baron. The Avanti is a is an awesome plane. You fly the Hawk. After flying the Avanti, you'll be blown away. The Avanti is sweet. It's Free a wind really wind good wind flying plane. You can fly that Hawk twice as long. Oh, on easily. the same battery. Um, well, I just don't do what I did on the crash video. The crash video, I was trying to fly for as long as I could. I shouldn't have gone around. I should just landed. It was still an impressive flight. But I, uh, the longest to date, I just watched a video from over the weekend with my Hawk. That's why I wanted to put it back together. Um, Frank and I, we did a video where we flew for over nine minutes doing touch and goes and formation. Landed and the plane still had 3.76 volts per cell. And that was not flying slow. That was flying, you know, staying in the pattern, doing touch and goes. We were above half for a good portion of the time. But the uh, free wing motors can't hang with the FMS motors, especially not the outrunners. Yeah, yeah uh, Foam Boy. I remember, I remember when, or I remember, uh, you know, you got that T33. Yeah, whoever he whoever he got that from is a pretty cool kid, a pretty cool guy, I guess. You know, the fact that he also got it for free too. You know, yeah, Jared Robeson, that FMS, the seventy Hawk has been discontinued. The ninety is still there. Not the ninety, the eighty. Oh my god! What? I just found this gem. I, I found one of your base at Hawk I think this is the video where Frank crashed his. Did you find the one where it, the one I had has you in it? The one that I saw this weekend had you in it. I need to take the music off. Um, yeah. <laughs> I remember this. I was giving Frank so much crap. This was a Bayside. Yeah, it was a Bayside video. There was five of us. We were doing formation. Um, you were in it. You're like a little itty-bitty kid. You're super short. The high voice. But he ran in. The one where he crashed into uh, the other guy. Nick Tarantino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stay on the inside line. What the hell happened? <laughs> you can't what did see. He crash? It was his hawk. You remember he oh, like, just kept going? Did he crash into the ground? Bro, listen to my voice. God oh, dang it. Ah, there's what? That, okay, that's not, that's, that's not, that's Jesus, your voice, my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, like freaking, okay, go look at the hawk. Oh my God. I was like, oh my God. God damn it. Wait, That's what's it? So, Jared Robson, which one's been discontinued? Don't tell me the FMS 80 millimeter hawk's been discontinued. If it has, I'm going to be pissed. That's my favorite plane. I'm looking at FMS model. If you go to FMS model, they have a lot of planes that are out. Oh boy, don't talk about that box. The amount of brain power that it took Mike and I to make a box for that T33, you should appreciate that duct tape box. But you have no brains. Eh, it's like here somewhere. 450. Oh, hey, sweet. Okay, so they better offer those. I'm on FMS site right now, and it shows that they're... Yeah, oh, okay. Lisa's on Hobby Zone. Hobby Zone. I, don't, I just saw it there. But it says... Yeah. Let me see. I'm looking. I like that new Arrows uh, P51's Detroit Miss scheme. Yeah, but... Cool. Hobby Zone's got their fail. That's very tempting. You should buy one, fly it twice, get bored of it, and then give it to me. Huh? <laughs> you know what I want to buy is the Arrows Bigfoot. That looks like fun. Yeah. Stop turn, that into, turn that into a major, uh, uh, what do you call it, bush plane. So I'm looking at ducted fans right now. Let me see what it says. Andy chose it's out of stock, just not, not discontinued. 
No, it says in stock. It says in stock, three forty nine ninety nine. That's the, that's the price it was all the time. Yeah, but it's in stock at uh, at Hobby Zone. Here, I'll I'll copy the link. God, what the fuck? There's kids screaming that time. So what I need to do is give you the link for the people who helped me out, though, which is GB Linden. GB, if you've got a link for that hawk through someplace, through uh, what's your link? GB, drop your link for the hawk from uh, from Hobby Zone. Drop your link in there. If anybody's looking for the hawk, that's where you need to get it. GB, drop your link for me if you can get to it pretty quick. I see Joe Pellegrino left one. That's cool. Thanks, Joe. I was going to use that, but I would rather use an affiliate link to help my peoples out. GB, if you can get to one, uh, get it. We'll drop that link in the chat if you're still here. Good. But if you can get the FMS Hawk, get that plane. It is amazing. Um, I, f I do the Hawk of Havoc flights where the I, I pester the guys in the Havocs. Um, and uh, actually, I think John Barnes is the guy who took these pictures. It is John Barnes, probably, up in Santa Rosa. But um, this plane has the same setup that the Havoc does, but it's got a better wing loading, better characteristics. Main, it's. I think. I think mine was just as fast as the Havoc. But um, yours, is, yours is. You know, this is the fastest Mike's. Oh, his hawk, yeah, the one after I after I balance the fan. My well, my one never balanced perfectly. Uh, uh, GB, if you're still here, uh, drop your link for the uh, Earth to GB Linden. Drop your, your link for the hawk. Drop your affiliate link because people need to buy that plane. Anybody that is that wants a crazy good flying EDF, regardless of your skill level. EDF wise, if you can fly the E Flight F 16 or the E Flight um, FW 190, uh, actually any of the E Flight Warbirds, if you can fly any of the E Flight Warbirds, you can fly a Hawk. You FW just have to remember to start using your throttle to land. If you can fly a Warbird that way, you could easily. Yeah, Andy Cho on the website, they've taken it off because they don't. E Flight got weird. E Flight and Horizon got weird with them. <clears throat> yeah, GB, leave a uh, leave that. And yes, it's um, it's uh, Chinese New Year, I believe. So you're not going to be able to get through to through to those guys right now. The FMS is celebrating. I brought these hawk orders tonight. Yeah, go to <laughs> gblinden.com. But uh, actually, drop the link with the affiliate link if you can. Um, my hair looks like shit that I had on all day. Yeah, but uh, get that link because that is a badass plane. Ricky from San Jose just bought from Hobby Zone. San Jose? That's by, that's by me. Ricky from San Jose just bought from Hobby Zone. It's Ricky Thrower. Hello, Miss Izzy. Hello, Miss Izzy. Hi, honey. Hi, kitty kitty. Hey, kitty kitty. Mm. Um, yeah. But yeah, kitty. get that plane for three three fifty. Through a three forty nine ninety nine, that plane is on most of the way scale. The landing gear is amazing. Does not bounce. Um, the paint is really good. If you clear coat that plane right off the bat, it's going to look just like the real thing. The only thing that's kind of weird is the gear doors kind of stay open a little bit, but you can still fix that. For four for four ninety nine ninety nine, you can get an E flight FW one ninety. Oh God! What the hell? Shut up with that already. We're talking about a good flying jet. I'm trying to help out my people that are in flight jets. The E flight FW. Well, hey, I'm, I'm promoting the E flight FW 190. If you buy E flight FW 190, use somebody's links. Dirty Dave, Pilot Ryan, GB Linden. So, Airvex, we're waiting for GB to come up with a. Uh... Help a brother out. Now, unfortunately, when I ordered my FW 190, it was very early in the morning, and I forgot to go through somebody's link. So. Sorry. Yeah, I've made a habit of doing that now. I'll buy from people's links. There you go. Is that the link? Yeah, use that. So Airvex, use that. Uh oh, my cat's gone crazy on the box. <laughs> Pilot Ryan's like, I heard my name. What's up? I was just talking about using people's links, Ryan. Yeah, how many planes I buy from him? I bought 
my F I bought two F fours. Um, two. Two F eighteens through his links. So, two F fours. Two F eighteens. Yeah, I bought one for um, a friend using his link. You bought you bought F fours and F eighteens for a friend. Yeah, they paid me, and I bought them from his, from his channel. Damn, why don't you buy me points? I'm joking. Ah, okay. So, um, BD Tennessee. See you, phone boy. There's a link. Uh, GB just posted a link up above. That's from that is from Hobby Zone. You can get it right there, free shipping, all that for three forty nine and ninety nine. I'm very tempted to buy it right now. What? I'll buy an extra one. Another hawk? Yeah, because then I keep it per keep it perfect. You can give me that one. Oh, I don't know if I give it to you because the fan is amazing in that plane. That fan it's screams. Buy it for you. When I put the seventy C pack in that thing, that thing screams. Actually, I was. I would, uh, see you later, phone boy. I was actually chasing people around. With the with the Hawks, um, with the thirty C pack, and it was still doing really good. Eve letter yeah. W. Yeah. Free wing yacht gripping. I was flying the crap out of the gripping today. That's cool. Mine's for sale if anybody's in the Bay Area that wants a gripping. It's okay. amazing how just this little blue piece of shit in that gripping made yeah. it a whole better airport. Yeah, with less than ten flights, I've got a gripping for sale, y'all. Come on, get it. Thank you, uh, GB. Thanks for that link. I should just buy it and use it as a parts. Airvex, did it work? If it worked, okay, cool. So help it help somebody out. Um, See you, Victor. I've gotten uh, stuff from GB Linden. I've gotten a lot of stuff for from uh, using links from Pilot Ryan. I've gotten a couple from. RC Informer. And I'll, I'll spread the love. I'll do it for the, a couple of the other people, too. I know others that have it. The boozers? I haven't done anything with them yet. Um, but the Grippin, if anybody's local here in the Bay Area, no. I, I'm not shipping it. It's too much of a pain. Um, anybody in the Bay Area, it's got to go. I can ship it. Huh? I could ship it. How much right is the shipping? Right there. And dude, because I got that Falkwolf box and my mom has some clicks. You know how much it cost me to ship you know how much it cost me to ship that T thirty three to phone boy? Mm -mm. Five bucks. Maybe I need to hook you up. You need to hook me up then. I'll, I'll ship some shit for you. Because I just hand it to my mom. Like, you know, I'm sending this out. It's like five bucks. Because, you know, her company uses shipping all the time. So she gets big old discounts. Maybe we can work something out there, Mr. John Shaw. It was five bucks to ship phone by the T33. And it was to Ohio in 24 hours. Hmm. Well. Do you want a grip and okay. JS? Let Ray know. Like, that sounds like a deal. Because I've got boxes. Because, well, no, I. I've got this Fockwolf box I need to get rid of anyway, so. Josh, I get a hold of me. I think we can work it out. If Nate wants to help me, to Nate wants to help me ship it, let's do it. I'll ship it. I have a shit ton of bubble wrap. I'll bubble wrap the crap out of that thing. Fred Barron. Hey, check it out. CGB, I'm helping you out. Look at that. Looks like Mr. Fred Barron just ordered a, himself an FMS Hawk, and he is going to love every minute of it. That thing is Amazing. Amazing. But yeah, if you do, if if you got boxes, I can ship stuff for you. Okay, cool. I'll remember that. Um, so my the mom same, care. same thing would be a, a, then. I guess the little uh, if anybody wants a, 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 RC, a, little a little bit of a pain because those rudders are glued on, but the gripping you can take it all apart. Yeah, it all comes off. Because let me see. Because I have a gripping right here. This you, if I take your nose off. Will it fit lengthwise in this box? It should. Aravex, I can make burns for whatever you want. It's not scale, but it'll work. 
hawk, the hawk would have this exact same burner right here. We can do that. Might have to make a little extension in the box for a grip to fit, unless you're able to get the back end off somehow. No, the back end, it's glued in place. Okay. Well, I can make an extension. Cool. So then I got a hookup. Cool. But yeah, there you go. I can ship your grip for you. Shipping the gripping. But uh wow, we still got 35 people, y'all. It's been over two hours. I guess you like looking at my big head and Nate's especially a large head. Um my <laughs> up here. Him, him flying his little thing and me rambling. Um Airvex, it's kind of cool too. We have every now and then we'll get lucky enough to have the real T forty five come over into Moffat too. I've seen a few of them come in. The Americans have their version of the Hawk, which is the T forty five, which is slightly different. Different nose gear, different main gear, a couple other things are different. Uh, but we have them come over. I've had four of them come over in formation on training missions, come into land at Moffat. Right over me house. Keon wants it having to talk about some clock wall. GB, check you out, man. Thank you very much. Check him out. He just became a member of the channel. I was his very first member on his channel. So now I can thank you for appreciate. Uh, thank you for actually joining my channel too. I very much appreciate it. Pilot Ryan also was cool enough to join mine. Yeah. Uh, Keon, I don't know what you want to talk about. Uh, the fact that it's awesome and you're getting one. Thank you, GB. But yeah, um, if somebody wants your grip and, and they want it to be shipped, I can John Shot, get a hold of me because if Nate says he can help me ship it, I'm done. Says he said email. Okay, cool. I just for, felt my phone buzz. We can talk because that plane got to go. It's got to go. Just remember if you got shit to, sh if you got stuff to ship, my mom can do it. And it's it's really cheap from when my mom, if she, if she ships it out. I've got stuff for you too, by the way. For me? Oh, yeah, my sweatshirt and stuff. Actually, let me show you. It's right here. Oh. Now, um, I don't know if your mom's watching. Is she watching? No. Or is she doing not. something else? Um, I don't think that will fit. This is pretty Make small. Not that ass. Not for you. This is for her. This is one of the girl shirts. There you go. But I don't think this would fit on her. And that's not saying, you know, but it's just, it's really small. Oh, I thought you meant that if I was going to fit me, like, oh, no way in hell. Oh, not you. This is for your mom. But yeah. I'll let her try it anyway, see if it'll work. But this is for, I think this is the right size. Yeah, this is yours, Mr. Nate. Early, Sweet. Early, early birthday present. Happy birthday, dude. Nine days. I, I'm soloing our airplane. Yep. I'm excited so. for that. And then on the 26th, two days after my birthday, I get my driver's license. Cool. So if you all are interested in getting uh, the merchandise at all, you can get it here. But um, this is one I got for me. I've got stickers and other stuff coming, too, so I can show you guys what you can get if you decide to help out the Gooniac. But this is uh, the shirt for me, the sweatshirt for me. For my, his royal fatness, as my kid calls me. Wait, what? You say I call you what? No, my kid, not you. You're my stepson. Uh, You're my like, I haven't called you fat once. No. I, my kids call me his ro your royal fatness. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. If you have stuff to ship, if my mom ships stuff out through, under her work's name, it's cheap. We won't say who that is, but Cindy, thank you. Very much appreciate it. She's not watching, but... <laughs> I know, but still. But again, GB, thank you for becoming a new member. Very cool. I was your first. Now you're a member of me. Thank you very much. 
So yeah, JS, you uh, you might be getting it dripping, buddy. Cool, Joe Pellegrino. Glad to hear it. Um, I got to get this box anyway, so it'll work out. Okay, great. We'll do it. Um, I'll talk to John through email. We'll figure it out. And I guess we could figure out other stuff for like the, uh, um, for the MiG twenty nine because that's gonna go too. Mm -hmm. I think I the tail's not box. that tall. Tail's not that tall on that. You have boxes though, right? Because like I'm only doing the gripping because I have a box. I have the box from the F thirty five and from the uh, the F one hundred four. We can make it happen. We can make it work. Make it work. Make it work. Don't go there. Man. All right, y'all. So still 32 people. Oh, Dude. Let me see everybody. Oh, wait. Let's see how many. Let's see how many uh, thumbs up we got now. 46 thumbs up. Sweet. Two thumbs down. I don't care about that. that so that's 48 total. That's all that matters. <laughs> get the, remember, kids, hit the dislike twice. Yeah, twice. You're cool. That works great. That F4 video was actually kind of fun. Yeah, it was. What I like is that it's the, your passes show how stable the thing is. Don't you land it from there? Mm hmm. But I already mm -hmm. saw, also said there's a perfect one in the beginning, so be quiet. I know. It's kind of funny. It's like I, I watch those landings back and on video after it happens, and I'm like, BD, I ain't forgot you, buddy. I got them, but when you got a stack of orders and stuff that needs to go out, you got to work on that stuff too. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I have a lot of stuff to, to send out. You do need Ray to get an FW190 because then you can, yeah. Shut up. I want to fly my P51 again. Wait, wait, what did you think I was going to say? I was going to say so we can, you, like, Keon said, there's three of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Mm hmm. I'm just laughing at the other thing about the the video. No, I was gonna say you need to get an FW so we can have three of them to fly. Okay. How are we gonna tell them all apart? We managed to fly ten hawks at one time and nobody crashed. <laughs> That's and right, we, right, we did. FW one nineties. Ah, we can do it. Uh, BD, BD Tennessee, I'll get you, my friend. Don't worry. You'll that G28 had that plane for like five, almost not five and a half, five years. I've had that plane. Uh, it was a Christmas gift in 2015, and then I maidened it on New Year's Day 2016. So, uh, yeah, five years old. If you look, kind of, you can see the decals are turning yellow. Um, still flies amazing, though. I don't keep it at my house. This lives at my grandma's house, so I only get to fly it a couple times a year. Um, but it's, it's one of those planes that I leave here so that if I ever come to my grandma's, but I can't like fit planes in the car when I'm coming, as long as I bring my stands and tools and my radio and some batteries, bolt it together and fly it. I leave it in one of the closets upstairs, so it's always here. Does she park in the garage normally? Not when my shit's here, no. But yeah, yeah usually. Okay. I'm going to put your stuff there so grandma can park. I haven't, seen, I haven't she, seen grandma in a while either. She, she should be showing back up at home any second, so. I hate COVID too because I can't give people hugs. Give grandma a hug. Where's the hug boy? With the what? He loves giving hugs. Yes, I do. I can't hug nobody with this dang COVID crap. Do 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 do. Dang, that's a freaking good deal on that hawk. I am so freaking tempted. Yeah, Nate, we got to go up to Santa Rosa to fly with John Barnes, too. We do? Yeah. Okay. That's the guy who took the pictures of the hawk on uh, Hobby Zone. Santa Rosa. That's going to be far as hell from my new house in Hollister, dude. Well, you could fly your plane out there. The airport's right there. Charles and Schultz. Yeah, yeah Charles, Schultz, Charles Schultz. And it's not far from there. Yeah, 
Hey, y'all, I got lots of stuff to still ship out, so please be patient with me, especially the giveaway stuff. Um, I got to send out the, the paying customer stuff first so that I don't get in trouble with PayPal and people start sending out dis the disputes and other stuff, trying to get me to give them their money back, taking so long to ship their, their stuff out to them. All I can tell y'all is if you have to wait, it's going to be worth the wait when you get it. Everybody is very happy when they get the stuff, especially once they see it's all handmade. So it's worth the wait. But as much as I'd like to stay on here for the rest of the evening, we still got 32 people. But I got to get going, y'all, because I got to work tomorrow. I got to clean up this living room before the wife gets home. So she doesn't get all peeved not being able to do anything but um, thank you all for hanging out thank you Nate for your uh, participation with your airplane flying and stuff oh we're ending yeah it's gonna have to be ding, 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 ding. I was paying attention because I thought my grandma was rolling so I was waiting for her to open the garage it wouldn't oh. scare me ding, 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 ding. but yeah we're gonna get on out of here um, all right y'all Thanks to everybody for coming by. Thanks for all the memberships that just applied today. GB, Pilot Ryan, a couple others that did. I think. Uh, who else was it? Before we go, Merlin RC, the A4, petite. I love it. With the new yeah. inrunner, the A4 is absolutely amazing. But, A4 is okay. Cool. All right. Well, A4 is yeah. pretty cool. Uh, any last minute anything before we go, guys? My grandma just got home. I can hear the car idling in the driveway. Oh, okay. Does she want to park? No, she's not going to come in here. Okay. All right. Well. All right, guys. I see the count going down. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> All right, guys. We're getting out. Unless I want right. to say hi to grandma. See you guys. Bye. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for all your participation, y'all.